Okay, we're talking about percentages today. Do you know what a percentage is? Do you? Kind of. Kind of, okay. Well, have you heard of fractions before? Yes. Yeah. Percentages and fractions are quite close together. They're linked together. Have you heard of decimals before? Yeah. Yeah? Can you give me an example of a decimal number? Mm. Well, let's start with fractions. Can you give me an example of a fraction? A half. A half. How do you write a half? One over two. One over two. Okay. Anything else? Quarter. A quarter. That's one over four. Third. Okay. Good. Now, what we're going to do is choose... We'll first choose a half. And we're going to write it as a percentage. Yeah. Okay. We can change any fraction mm -hmm. to something where the bottom number is a hundred. Okay. So we're going to change this to something over a hundred. And that means that we've changed it to a percentage because a percentage means something out of a hundred. Okay? Now, what we need to work out is how we get from two to a hundred by multiplying. Can you multiply two by something to get a hundred? What? Fifty. Good. So times by fifty. What we'll have to do is also times that one by 50. Because it has to be the same thing on the top and on the bottom. So what's 1 50. times 50? 50, good. So a half is 50 over 100. It's the same thing. And we can write that as 50%. That two circles with that line between them is the percent sign or percent symbol. Okay. Let's choose another one. This is a bit more tricky. Sometimes the number on the top isn't one. So if we had three over twenty, how would we say that fraction? Do you know? No. It's three twentieths. Yes. <gasps> wow. Imagine sp splitting a pizza up into twenty bits. And you had three of them. That we'd wouldn't be a, very much, would it? We'd have about a crumb each. <laughs> well, you'd have a crumb, I'd have the rest. Right. So what we need to do is change three over twenty to something over a hundred. How do you get from 20 to 100? Or how many 20s in 100? 20. Mm -hmm. 5. 5, okay. So to get from 20 to 100, you times by 5. So if you did the same thing for that 3, what's 3 times 5? 15. 15, well done. So... What's that percentage, or what's that fraction as a percentage? 15 over 100 is how many percent? 15. 15 percent. Good. Right, so in the last page we were talking about fractions, changing them to percentages. Now what we're going to do is turn decimals into percentages. Now you said you didn't know what a decimal number was, okay? A decimal number is like this. It's got a zero point, like zero point two three. Now we don't say it's zero point twenty three, even though that bit looks like twenty three. We say zero point two three. Have you been taught about the columns of numbers at school? Hundreds, tens, and units. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what happens, what 
what's this column here where the zero is? That's hundreds. It looks like hundreds, doesn't it? Because there's three digits, three numbers. But it's not. That's the units column. Okay. This decimal point here is there because everything past it, the two and the three, are tiny parts of one. They're not ones, they're not units. They're parts of one. This is called tenths. And this is called hundredths. Okay, so we've got two tenths and three hundredths. Or we could say there's twenty-three hundredths. Okay. Now twenty-three hundredths is the same as twenty-three over one hundred. Now, how many? Do you remember how many percent that would have been yesterday? Twenty-three percent. Twenty-three percent. Good. You know what? It was twenty-three percent yesterday. It's still twenty-three percent today. Amazing. Anyway, what we're going to do is change a number like this, zero point four two. How would we say that? How many hundredths is that? Two. Two hundredths there. And what's the four stand for? Four. Tens. Not tens. They're called tenths. Tenths. Okay. But it's also forty-two hundredths. So we can write it as... over a hundred. Now how many percent is that? Forty-two. Forty-two percent. Good. Okay. Here's your difficult question. What does that look like? Zero point eight. Zero point eight. Do you know how many hundreds that is? Eight. Eighty. Well done, it's 80 hundredths, because that's 8 tenths. We could put another zero here to give it two, two digits. So that's what we'll do. We'll say it's 80 over 100, which is how many percent? 80. 80. Okay, now, what we're going to do now is put some things in order like percentages and fractions and decimals. Now the easiest way to change it into stuff you can put in order is to change them all to decimals. Okay. But what we've been able to do is use percentages and fractions and both of those we can change into each other uh, but we could also change them into decimals. Okay. So what I'm going to write down is a few things. I'm going to write three fifths, I'm going to write down sixty one percent, I'm going to write down zero point Zero six. I'm going to write down sixty seven over a hundred. Now, what I want to do is put all these in order the smallest one first. Could we put all these into a decimal? Do you think we could? No. Oh, well, I might as well give up then. I'll stop then. Sorry, folks, I'm going to have to stop because Jonah can't do this. I think you can. Go on, have a go. I might. I don't know. Well, let's see. Okay. <laughs> right. Three-fifths. What we did yesterday was we changed that fraction into a percentage. Do you remember how we did it? What number did we need at the bottom of our fraction? 100. 100. So could we change three-fifths to something over 100? 
How do you get from 5 to 100? How many times 5 makes 100? Correct. 20. 20. I heard Voldemort speaking then. 20. Right, 20. That's it. So 5 times 20 is 100. What do you think you do with a 3? I don't know. Right, 3 times 20. Easy. I'll write down easy, shall I? <laughs> what is it? Um, 3 times 20 is 60. 60. Now, what do you think 60 over 100 is? As a, as a decimal. <laughs> what do you think it is? 0 point what? Come on, we haven't got long. People are waiting. All the people watching YouTube are waiting for you to give us this answer. 60 over 100. How many hundredths is that? 60. 60. So it's going to be 0. Point, it looks like 60, but we'd say it's 0. 0.60. 0. Okay. Right, 61%. Sixty-one percent is sixty-one over what? One hundred. One hundred. So what would that be as a decimal? Sixty-one. It would be sixty-one after the point, so zero point six. One. Now this is a decimal already because it's got a point in it. We've got zero point zero six and sixty-seven over a hundred. What's that going to be as a, as a decimal? 0 0.67. 0 0.67, good boy. Right. If I asked you the smallest one, what would the smallest one be out of these four? 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.67, and 0 0.06. Which one do you think? How many hundredths is that one? Six, sixty. Sixty. How many is that? Sixty-one. How many is that? Sixty-seven. How many is that? Six. Right, so which one's the smallest? That one, 0 0.06. That one's first. And then what? Which is the next one? Zero point six zero. Good. Then what? Six one. And then that one there. Zero six point seven. Six seven. Okay. So the answer is zero point zero six. And then it's three fifths because that's what it started as. And then sixty one percent. And then. 67 over 100. That's how you put things in order using fractions and decimals and percentages. The easiest one to order them with is your decimals. Here are just a few questions you can practice with. Sorry, John has gone to bed so he can't help you. It's all up to you. Pause the video now. Have a go at these yourself.